what's up what's good it's your girl tracy and i'm back with another video for y'all welcome back you guys thank you guys for tuning in today thank you guys if you have watched my first and my second entrepreneurship video i appreciate you a lot um, the views are slowly climbing on those videos, so let's get this one to the same point. So, today I wanted to focus on how to, no, we're not going to do a how-to, I've been doing how-to's for the first two videos. We're going to do a what you need to start your own jury line. Um, that has been one of the main questions that have been sent to me in my DMs regarding starting a jury line. So today I'm going to give you guys a few tips on how and what is needed to start your own jury line. So let's get into it. First things first, like I said in the first two videos, you're going to need a vendor. Your vendor can be from America, China, Amazon, whoever you want to go to. Make sure that everything is in your budget, your price range, and that you're getting quality items for your book, okay? So the first thing you're gonna need when you wanna start a bracelet line, you need to figure out if you're gonna do designer bracelets or regular charms. So for instance, I brought back my silver inspirational charm uh, bracelets. These charms were purchased on Amazon. I don't have a certain vendor for my regular bracelets. I usually get most of my charms off Amazon. I go to Hobby Lobby when they have things on sale and get them as well. So, like I said, if you want to do regular charms, you can get those from anywhere. Designer charms, you're going to have to find a vendor. Those are not going to be um, something you just go pick up in the store. That's something that's a special order. So the first thing again, what you need is you're gonna have to decide on what type of braces do you wanna sell, designer or regular, or you can do both. So step two, you're gonna need the proper tools to do your braces. So you're going to need a pair of these. I don't know what these are properly called. If I have, once I get the name of them, you can, I will put them down here so you guys know what they are. But if I'm not mistaken, these are, some type of plier. I want to see the brown nose pliers because it's kind of round at the top. But these are the pliers that I use. And then you need some type of cutter. Um, this is a cutter that I got from my dad because he has a whole little um, workshop or whatever. But you can find both of these tools at Hobby Lobby, Amazon, Michael's, Jerome's, anywhere that sells um, arts, crafts, or whatever that nature. Amazon does sell these. Um, you can get both of these items for under $15 for regular size. And then, if I can get the then I also have the mini version of these as well. I had got these um, three for 10 from Hobby Lobby it came up cutter, these and I and a round nose plier as well. So that's number two. You need the, the right equipment to start making your braces and designing them correctly. The third thing you need sis. Let me see how to do this dash. So you guys are gonna need some type of bracelet. Um this is how I have my bracelets organized for the time being. They both have their own, they all have their own drawer. I did a sticker on them as well, but the rose gold was missing. But yes, you're going to need a boatload of bracelets. You don't always have to purchase your bracelets through um, a vendor because Amazon also sells them as well. But, um, my vendor is a little bit cheaper um, for the bracelets, so I purchased through them to get my bracelets. But when I first started, I did use Amazon for just about everything in my business. I used Amazon. So, number three, you're gonna need bracelets. Um, yeah, I started out with only selling silver and gold, and then I moved on to rose gold when I started doing designer bracelets. But it's kind of hard to find 
rose gold charms that are the regular ones it's not the designer so number four you're going to need some type of a split ring or jump ring so these are my babies okay the first two are split ring um split rings are similar to keychain rings you put them on the same way that you would put a key ring on the key or the key thing i hope i explained it correctly then these bottom three are jump rings you would need both pair of these to open them properly and close them properly but um the split rings which i feel like are easier method and they don't fall off you really intertwine the charm and the ring together so they will not fall off at all I suggest a jump, a split ring over a jump ring. Um, I have not found any rose gold split rings since I started my business. So those, I keep rose gold jump rings on hand because that's the only ones I can use. And as you guys can see from my kits, I supply them with jump rings because those are the most easier method for people who are just beginning versus trying to give them a split ring and get confused. So that's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need some type of ring, jump ring, split ring, and make sure you get heavy gauge jump rings. Do not get the thin ones, sis, cause them charms gonna fall off instantly. You don't need that. That's the mistake I made when I first started. I just went and bought a whole bunch of jump rings and know the difference. And I had one customer, which was gladly a close friend of mine, and she was like, girl, all my charms fell off. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. But after doing a little research on YouTube and just, you know, paying attention that I noticed that they do have these in heavier, heavier gauge in size. So that's what I bought. Of the heavier gauge size, I'm not mistaken. These are nine millimeter. Uh, don't quote me, but I will put those in the description bar for you guys as well. And I purchased those through Hobby Lobby. So the fifth thing you need it's to figure out if you want to do beaded bracelets or expandable bracelets or both. Um, right now I do both. Um, it's an example of a group order that I'm almost done with. Um, that I made these myself, handmade um, bracelets right here, beaded bracelets. Um, I will insert a few pictures of all of my custom orders that I've been doing lately. So this is my first beaded custom order. And then here's the other part of the set. Ooh, can you see it? Okay, so that's what I do. I do a little bit of both. Um, I will be dropping. I'm probably gonna film this in the same night. Um, but I'm going to also be dropping how to make an expandable bracelet, how to make a beaded bracelet. I'm gonna do a comparison between the two just to give you guys a little idea of what you may need or which one may be easier for you first starting out so i'm going to give you guys both options to see so i think that's about it that is the beginner material that you will need to start your own jewelry line of course you need to decide if you're going to do beaded bracelets or expandable bracelets always keep that in mind figure out what your target market is um my target market is usually ages 15 to 20 28 maybe um for my bougie bracelets um, i also do custom orders sorority orders and things of that nature i have more than one target market but i have a target market for both or well, everything that i supply i have a different target market for them so you have to determine that um set your budget to it like i said in my previous video you can start a jewelry line with under 50 dollars <clears throat> with under fifty dollars, and that's for a regular, um, a regular charm bracelet line. For the designer uh, charm bracelet line, I have a kit that I offer. I'll throw a flyer up here for you guys. And that's seventy five dollar beginner kit. You can make twenty five bracelets to two charms on each bracelet, and that's what I offer for my kit. Um, I have about the cheapest kit right now on Instagram that I know of. So just keep that in mind when you want to start your business. 
Um, again, if you guys have any other questions, any other concerns, please feel free to leave them below. And quick, get y'all lip gloss from Rebel Goddess, honey. Rebel Glitter Goddess, baby. Period. Lips on T. Getting tombs is getting tombs. Again, lashes by Christine's creation. I'm gonna say these are my voluptuous lashes. Um, these are my floss mix lashes, so they got real mix. Real mix dropping soon, sis. So again, while you guys are here, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Comment below what you guys want me to talk about in my next video. Um, I'm trying to find a way to help everyone. My dog, y'all, you distraction. But yeah, y'all, I'm gonna have a giveaway coming soon just for YouTube. So stay tuned for that, sis. And remember, again, 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 all bracelets bougie bracelets are five dollars all mink lashes are five dollars as well please get in tune visit my website www.christinescreations.net for all your custom sorority bougie lashes whatever you think of we got it we got custom name custom charms and things coming soon you know just bought my little kit today so i'm playing around with it for you guys and then i'm gonna drop that hopefully sometime next week um i'm always working looking forward to improve and looking for another way to get you guys business um i will be expanding very very soon into another market with my business so just stay tuned for that um i'm gonna make something that i hope you guys will enjoy that you guys actually buy or like so that's it for this video again my name is tracy the ceo of christine's creations remember to follow follow christine creations on instagram at christine creations 22 on ig follow and like our facebook page at christine's creations 2 on facebook and i will see y'all in episode four of my entrepreneurship vlogging. Peace and blessings, y'all. I'm out.